If you go back to my description of the, quote, Big Bang, that explosion is still happening. The effects of that, the energy of that is still happening. If you look at an explosion, everything moves away from that moment of inertia. Now, if you're talking a firecracker, it's only got so much juice, right? So the stuff is only going to go so far. But if you're talking the force of the universe, it may only go the, relatively speaking, it may only go the distance of the stuff from the firecracker, but it's so much bigger than you are, it seems like forever. That explosion, let's say, probably the first thing that is created is space itself. Because that stuff has to move someplace. So it's so hot that everything is in a kind of, and I'm going to use a word that's not really true, but doesn't really say anything, just gives you an idea. Super energy. Space is super energy. Okay? So that's created. Then the larger particles of energy move along this line. That's a matter of cooling over time. Time, you call the explosion T1. Okay. Somewhere around T2, it's cooled enough to become regular energy. Somewhere around T3, it's cooled enough to start to become hydrogen. Right? Now, something develops along that line. Suppose there's a civilization that's a million years past where we're developing here. It stands to reason that their minds, their technology would be far superior because they've had a million years jump. Okay? That's just in terms of the mass of this. Now, when we want to talk about the other side, it's a bit more complex. An electron moves through space as I'm drawing my finger along this line. But at the same time, that's a perception. What does that look like? straight line, doesn't it? But to get up to it, if you're looking at it from the back of the room, it looks just like a black line. So it looks like it's moving this way and this way, right? But if you get up on it, you see that it's round. So actually, in every direction at the same time. It's not flat. You see what I'm saying? Damn, that was pretty good. I... <laughs> <laughs> Just thought of that. That's <laughs> so it's moving in every direction simultaneously. Because of the speed of it, not only does it move in every direction in this reality, but the speed of it makes it go right here because it's traveling in other directions that you can't see. All right. Because of this, at any point along the lines of travel, a reality exists. That's what we call possibility and probability. In terms of what you saw in the dream, that was a probability. You're probably going to run into this guy or this person tomorrow. Another time, you will see the same thing and have the same effect, but it won't happen. Okay? Because something happened, a decision was made somewhere along that line that changed that whole line. So, you have probability and possibility. 
everything is possible, fewer things are probable. Okay. Now, as you move outside your way of sensing this, you sense a whole other reality with a whole other rules. Now, in this reality, the rules follow this. The possibilities follow this. But then there's a whole set of stuff that happens before this happens. Reason, or, or thinking, where was it before it happened? Had to be somewhere. Huh, it created space, but it had to be somewhere before it could create space. Gotta be. You see what I'm saying? So, you start to go, damn. And you do like I did. After I followed it so far, it's like, to hell with it. I got a football game to watch. <laughs> I don't care anymore. <laughs> I, it doesn't matter. What I know is, this is the forever that is spoken of. Everything goes on forever. In, quote, death, it just means that because you have this form, that means that the frequency, the electron cloud that you call your body, is consummate with the law of your biomechanical sensors, your eyes, ears, nose, that. Ah, okay, therefore I see Kevin. When the consciousness leaves this, this no longer has that frequency, so it disintegrates. Now, where is Kevin? Kevin is the consciousness that propelled this, as well as other levels or places of reality. Kevin is there, somewhere. Where is the where? Can't talk about that, because it doesn't make any sense in this where. You're talking where. Your where, your boxes, say this where. Well, but were both where started off the initial explosion? Before. So all wares that are somewhere started. <laughs> so then what did the explosion bring? Just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just this where. Something existed before this where. That has just a tiny little bit to do with this where. Okay. You have to see it. Okay. If you just keep going with your process, you see it. But I'll tell you what my experience has taught me. Shut up about it. Why? Because most of the people around you don't see it and they go, what? Because they're in these little boxes. One of the things that hurt me the most in my life was school. The ignorance of the educational community. The ego trip of the educational community. You know, it's like, wow, did you know that? Did you see that? Well, what are you talking about? It's right there in the physics book. But, well, I, 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 I. well, I think nobody gives a damn what you think. I don't care what you think. I don't care what I think. All I'm telling you is, this is what I see. You lauded Einstein because of his, what do you call it, uh, mental experiments, uh, uh, well, you lauded him after you couldn't disprove it. Before you did that, you were in your box. So, oh, well, blah, 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 blah. So, at one point, you begin to see it. I wrote a paper on the difference between, uh, what do you call it? Hallucination and the reality of sight. What happened was, as I was hallucinating from the lack of food, water, and sensory uh, input, sitting in the dark, 
Well, just water. I had water. Absolute dark. I began to notice that uh, an hallucination happens in connection with a thought. You can actually watch the thought take form. But these other things are totally different. So I wrote the paper on hallucination and left out the other stuff. Because if I bring in the other stuff, some fool in his box who didn't have the experience were going to go, well, you can't empirically prove this. And I'm going to go, I wasted my time, so I'm just going to write. When you have hallucinations, this is what happened, this is what happened, this is what happened, there you go. Oh, fine work, A. Hey. You have to trust what you see. But you must be aware of what you see. 